Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your next reading. So we're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. This is not a private reading. This is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Here we go. You know, before I started this reading, I saw the fool, the fool, that's starting at zero, starting over, starting from scratch, starting on a new journey, starting from the very beginning, starting with a clean slate, blank page, you know, queen of swords. Now, this is a new perspective somebody is getting a new idea or they're taking a new approach this is holding on to their truth holding on to their power taking their power in their own hands I know what I need to do oh yeah owning it it's like I see the truth I see it clearly. This person has received clarity. I know what I need to do. Absolutely. There's no more confusion. Something has been revealed. Somebody has seen the truth or they've heard the truth or uh, they've come to some sort of conf conclusion. All right. We could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer here. Something may have been below the surface, which has now been revealed. It's like there's no more. It's not hidden anymore. I see it. Six of coins reversed. The chariot reversed. The queen of cups reversed. There has been some confusion, though, hasn't there, with the Seven of Cups? Somebody may, may have been trying to escape. Okay. They may have been trying to escape living in some sort of fantasy. But it looks like they've received some sort of clarity, okay? Three of Cups. Maybe about a third-party situation. Maybe about a relationship. Somebody's walking away. With the Eight of Cups. They're putting something to a complete halt. Could be a third party situation. There's a Three of Cups. It's like there's no reciprocation. Somebody could be rejecting. You know, involving themselves in something. They see the situation clearly now. And they decide, you know what? I, I reject to involve myself. Shutting down emotionally, the Queen of Cups reverse. This person's not going to give, okay? I'm, I'm saying goodbye. The Eight of Cups. I am saying, this is saying goodbye. Ooh, Four of Cups. Now, this is a Ten of Cups. This is saying goodbye to a relationship. This is a completion. It is. Tens are completions. It's like this person is thinking about a bigger opportunity. It's like he's got something, but it's not what he wants. Because he's not even looking at it. Yeah, he's got something in his hand or something right in front of him, but it's not what he wants because he's looking at something else.
a nine of coins reversed. Somebody has been letting ego and pride get in the way of their own happiness. Okay. Somebody has been holding on to an unhealthy situation. But you see the key? Keys unlock. They unlock doors. So it's like you have the opportunity to break free. That key will unlock those chains. Five, five, five. I just looked at the clock and it was five, 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 five on the camera as I was talking. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. We're about to see a change. Somebody is about to break free from an unhealthy situation. It's like they're being given the key that unlocks the chains that breaks them free. So, okay. So we have somebody, this person's turning their back on the whole situation. Okay, I'm not interested. I know the truth. I see the truth. I have the truth. I speak the truth. And I do not want to be involved in this. This person is turning their back, saying no, no. And it could be because there's another person here. You know, in yesterday's reading after I got done, and I, I watch my readings a couple times after I do them, always. And um, like several times throughout the night, just to go over what I saw, and whatever. I pick it myself, I'm Virgo rising, whatever. And I had seen the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords in the same kind of lineup or in close proximity. I think they were like right here. And I did see a third party situation. Somebody may have been, been scared to get involved because of their ex or because of, you know, they are with, they're attached to somebody that they don't want to be attached to. So that is, looks as though we're carrying over. Okay. We, we do, because we have the same players. We do. We have the same exact players that we had yesterday. We absolutely do. Okay? <clears throat> so, it's like this person has to become independent to go after the love that they really, really, really want. So, you know, I feel as though there is a third party situation here in which somebody has been probably unable to uh, follow their heart because they have to make a complex decision. They have to choose. Seven of Cups, they have to choose. And in order to choose, you're going to have to reject one of these people. I mean, three is a crowd. Three is a freaking crowd. So I feel like we have somebody here that is struggling to master their emotions but I think they are going to make a decision to walk away from somebody that is not emotionally fulfilling them. Because the person that they really love has now truly turned their back on them. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we, somebody is putting, you know, the relationship that kept them bound... To a complete halt. It's something is coming to a complete halt. Seriously. With the chariot reversed. Like the brakes are putting being put on. And I think it starts with this person. Who says no. Uh-uh. No. You, you've got to be truthful with me. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to. Stay below the surface. Right. I'm not going to be hidden. I think we we have this person up here who just is like, you know what? No. No, that's all I hear is no. No, 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 no. So I feel like we have somebody here that is walking away from a relationship. This is the 10. A 10 is a completion. 
They're saying goodbye. The Eight of Cups, this is saying goodbye to a relationship. Because there's no love there. The Queen of Cups reversed. There's no love there. It's like they realize that they got to take action right now. Right now. Because if they don't, they're going to lose the one that they love. This is a lost opportunity for love. This person is holding on to this little tiny bit of love. And this, they got this big opportunity over here. And it's like, I can't. This person just keeps looking at it, looking at it. That's the one he wants. But he has to make this complex choice. And that's going to... That's going to force him to tell the truth, to be honest. So I'm saying him because I see him in the card. Okay, it looks like a him to me. I don't look like no female to me. Anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is about to break free from an unhealthy situation that they may have got involved in. Uh, based on ego, based on pride, based on the need to prove themselves. Whatever the case is, could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think this person is the one that has turned their back. Could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be dealing with um, anybody, really. But somebody is, is making a decision. And they're making the decision because they don't want to lose the love that they can't stop thinking about. Somebody, okay, I always see what's next to each other. This is Eight of Cups. Relationship, relationship. This relationship is next to the Eight of Cups. This relationship is next to the Eight of Cups. Somebody is walking away from a relationship. It's over, it's done. You don't complete me. This person does. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to own up to their truth. So yeah, I mean, that's what I have. That is what I have. I mean, I feel like somebody is about to make a decision. And they're gonna they're gonna tell the truth. They're gonna they're gonna tell the truth. The truth is going to be revealed. So be prepared. It's coming. The truth is coming. There's somebody has been living in some sort of fantasy land. They've been living some sort of lie, trying to escape. But this this escapism that they have been dealing with, that they have been playing this game, whatever it is, hasn't been giving them what they want. You know, it looked real good with that devil card. Yeah, it looked good. It may have felt good for a minute. It may have proved a point. It may have fed their ego. You know, it may have gave them an ego boost. But it really didn't fulfill them. It really didn't give them what they truly wanted, which was happiness. And it's like this person sees an opportunity, a big, big, big opportunity. It's like, that's the one I love. That's the one I want to have a relationship with. <sighs> that's what I see. Let's get one of these. Somebody's saying goodbye. That's what the Eight of Cups is. They're saying goodbye to this person up here. Saying goodbye to this person who they don't, that isn't really fulfilling them emotionally. One card, please. It's like they see this big, bright opportunity, this big, huge, huge opportunity. And it's like, I want that. It's huge. There it is. Oh, we got two of them. I guess we'll take them both. Go the distance. We had this. Somebody's about to cross the finish line. We had this earlier for somebody. Somebody's about to win. It's like they're about to win. This is this is it. It's over. Checkered flag. Observer. We're going to read them both really quick. 47. 47. Interesting. Interesting. 
<laughs> 47 check and flag that's hilarious endurance strength the long haul to bring your dream to life you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle life is not a sprint this card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. Observer, if it's yours, it's meant to be yours. 49. Observer. Perspective. Ob objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. Most people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences, so much so that they come to believe that these are only their only reality. There are times when you need distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life this is a perfect moment for you to begin to do something, to do some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you, you're engaged with now. You'll be really happy that you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find so, I feel as though we have somebody here that has realized what they lost from being on the sidelines and watching. And now there's an opportunity to go get it. So they may just do that. Good luck.